Okay, what comes to mind when you think of mental health? Um, I think of it as uh, something that needs to be talked about. Uh -huh. I think of mental health as like, um, it is a, uh, it is a issue uh -huh. for everybody. Because I feel like everybody has a has a, a mental issue, a yeah. mental health issue. Mm -hmm. um, we don't talk about enough. Um, I do think of it as like a, maybe a stress thing. A stress maybe thing. Mm -hmm. I think mental health could be like all sorts of negative things mm -hmm. um, that either you don't like about yourself mm -hmm. or you're worried about something else, mm -hmm. such like homework or tests or like a relationship. Yes. <laughs> um, I just feel like mental health is more of like um, uh, it's not a bad thing, mm -hmm. but it definitely needs to be talked about. Be talked about. Um, I definitely have mental health issues. I feel like talk about it. All right. So, um, we all for, ex me, for yeah. example, my mm -hmm. dad passed away yeah, like a, right. over a month ago. Sorry, um, that definitely, um, it's okay, thank you. Um, it definitely affected the way I am really rigorous in my schoolwork. Mm -hmm. I was, last year I was really on top of everything. And then when this hit, when my dad passed away, um, everything like changed and shifted. Mm -hmm. I only missed one day of school, which I wish I missed a, lot, a little bit more mm -hmm. the rest of the week, but... And so it's just how I, I just like pretended that everything was fine. Like right. I just wanted to move on and like pretend that I could still like be fine mm -hmm. and still grieve for my dad. But in the, I'm still struggling with it right now because um, I still, I do lack in my um, discipline. Mm -hmm. um, how long does this need to be? Oh, it's all good. <laughs> I, I, I see. Just, no, okay. no, I'm, 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 I'm um, at the camera. just not okay. dying like yeah. that yet. Um, so I just, my mental health has definitely like changed. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to redirect the way I'm relaxed, but and also like work around my relaxation to find different ways to do my homework and get yeah. them finished, and at the same time get good grades or lift them up to the point of just passing at that point for yeah. the semester. Because it's the semester has been crazy. I don't quite like it. Um, I always been around my friends most of the time. Um, which is a good thing because I like to be my around my friends, especially when I don't like to be alone at, at night or uh -huh. um, when I'm trying to sleep. I, I also my sleep pattern is really bad too. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I mean, my mental my mental health has been a lot lower than usual. I mm -hmm. feel like, but at the same time, that's why I have my friends and family and. Yeah the environment around me and just sometimes just being alone in the daylight yeah, or just walking yeah. around like I was about to do yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, it helps with my mental health because it, it just makes me feel refreshed and not so crazy I guess yeah so yeah that's perfect yeah that was a lot I like yeah. that yeah hey, you natural you made, <laughs> you made for this you made for this okay and what comes to mind when you think of self-care uh, Walking around, obviously. Uh -huh. um, talk to my friends when I have the free time. Yeah. But just like basically every day, mm -hmm. even though I don't have the free time to do so, but yeah. I, I just I just do whatever goes with flow with myself. And then at times when I know I have to get sup something finished, either on that day or from the next day, mm -hmm. I get it finished. Um, and kind of like exclude myself from my friends. Mm -hmm. um, Are you good? Mental health, I feel like it's like. Something that you enjoy to do for me, walking mm -hmm. by myself, I really enjoyed that. Listen to a podcast or listen to music, uh -huh. um, or even reading when I have the time for fun, which I'm usually tired at the end of the day. Yeah. Um, another thing is sleep. Sleep. I love to sleep, um, but I always have a hard time waking up in the morning. Yeah. I always miss my alarm sometimes. I was always. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I just like, I drop dead at night when I'm studying for my classes, mm -hmm. but it's okay. I don't stress myself out with that. I just, I still continue to do as much as I can do with self-care um, as much as possible, but at the same time still maintaining school and life and right. being around my family. That's good. Yeah. I wish I had more of that out of people, man. People <laughs> just, you know, say how they feel, you yeah. know, because you, 
you're really talking about how you feel or what's going on in your life, right? Yeah, boss. You chose yeah. a perfect person. Oh, yes, <laughs> perfect. I wish I had that more, man. Because people need to see, they need to hear that. You know, it's important. Um, what is mindfulness to you? Uh, mindfulness. Um, I feel like I'm coming in different shapes and forms. Mine comes in in different ways. Mm -hmm. I sometimes just stop and think about all these possibilities of mm -hmm. like God or why this happened or that happened. Yeah. Um, or writing it out on a like in a journal or whatever. Uh -huh. um, same kind of topic and themes. But sometimes I just think about oh what did I go through today? Mm -hmm. I'm like what with the what with the pros or I most likely think about like oh I should have done this or I should have, yeah. should have haven't said this to <laughs> some people. Yeah. Um so I feel like mindfulness is like for me uh just thinking and writing how I feel. Mm -hmm. Um sometimes I talk to my family about how I feel, especially my mom. Um but I like to be more my towards myself to think about yeah. what I've done or what I can do better for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, just having like a review day kind of thing at the end of the day. Yeah. Um, and then being content with uh, what happened today, I guess. Okay. I like that. I like that. I like that. Okay. What comes to mind when you think of feet? Feet? Yeah. Um, I don't like feet. You like feet? Okay. <laughs> But uh, that's why I wear like wear socks and shoes all the yeah. time. Uh -huh. um, I wear socks to bed. I say it to all my friends all the time. I ask them if they wear, wear socks to bed. They think it's weird. Some people do it. Yeah. I wear them all the time. But besides that, um, feet are can be great. Great. Okay. Um, for walking and walking. running mm -hmm. to carry you to different places. Yeah. But. Uh, your feet can be stinky at times. Yeah, that's true, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, besides that, I think, I mean, I'm thankful for feet because, you know, some people are not able to use their feet, yeah. so you got to be thankful for what you have. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, so before we get to the next question, how do you feel about your feet? <laughs> My feet are tiny. They're tiny. They're, They're exposed, right? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm used to, I'm used to, like, uh, wearing, I like to wear no socks sometimes at home. Uh-huh. Um, I guess like, I don't know. So this is kind of like new to you, right? Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, and I, I used to paint my nails or get them done, but uh -huh. not anymore because I'm, that's part of my, like, I guess, uh, part of my mental health. Yeah. I started cutting it off because I just, up. it wasn't fun to me anymore. Mm. I only did it for a certain amount of time because my sisters didn't. Yeah. Um, but this is easier, just clipping your nails and call it a day. Call it a day? Yeah. <laughs> I understand. Yeah. Okay. So how do you think all of this correlates together? Feet, mental health, self-care, and mindfulness. Um, I guess for feet-wise and mindfulness and all that jazz, um, I guess the bottom line is to have everything not so hard or like don't be planted in the grass all the time like yeah. the roots of the tree mm -hmm. don't be so still all the time mm -hmm. but at the same time you want to be still right um but at the same time you want to be like light and fluffy mm -hmm. to be able to like not be so down on yourself so much mm -hmm. um i guess that's, that's how mindfulness plays around um just being mindful of like oh this happened but it's okay so yeah. you can just walk on Right. And continue with what you have to do or helping others or helping mm. yourself. Um, just keeping a light. Keeping a light. But at the same time, mm. you still want to have a sturdy ground to like right. have what you want and have what you believe in. Okay. Still there. Okay. okay. Yeah. Well, how you two talk about self mindfulness. Mm -hmm. And self mindfulness is all about the importance of being mindful of your feet. You know why? Because your feet are the foundation of your body. Uh, to get you where you want to go, to help you stay healthy during physical activities, and also and also they can help you gain self control, mm -hmm. like ground and stuff yeah. like that. So, when are you most mindful of your feet? Um, well, to be funny, is when I wear like really tight fitting shoes. Mm -hmm. That's when I'm really mindful because they hurt so bad uh -huh. <laughs> yesterday. Um, but to be serious, I guess um, when 
either A, I'm succeeding in my classes and it makes me happy mm. and I know that I can do it, and, yeah. or B, when I have a really down, really bad day, mm -hmm. um, I'm, I guess you could say I'm mindful of my feet because it makes me want to like stop and not do anything, mm. or, like not move at all. Yeah. Um, and just like cry at all out or be angry, mm -hmm. but I know for a fact that I have to use my feet to keep going. Um, yeah, I like that. I like that. You know, I know for a fact I got I got to use my feet to keep going. Right. Yeah. I like that. I like yeah. that. Um, let's see something here. What's the most comfortable shoe to wear and why? Um, tennis shoes. Tennis shoes. Yes. I see the Nikes. Yes. Get down the They're great. Why, why? Why is that? Tennis shoes are the yeah. best because I can obviously walk in them, but I yeah. can also run in them. Mm. Um, they're roomy. Um, and you can still be cold in your shoes. Yeah, that's true. Tennis shoes, yeah. but um, I just like them because they're roomy, nice to walk on. Uh -huh. they're, you can find shoes that are tennis shoes that are like fashionable for outfits. Yes. Yeah. Um, you don't have to like look at people's feet or toes. Yes, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Okay. What's the most uncomfortable shoe to wear? The shoes I wore yesterday, they were more of like um like Tom shoes. Yeah. Um for like Yeah, the best way to describe my shoes were uh -huh. Tom shoes, but Tom they shoes. weren't Tom shoes. Mm -hmm. Um but they look like it. Those were the most uncomfortable shoes because mm. um, they were tight and they're not like they don't have a nice sole to them. Yeah, they were kind of flat. Mm. Um, it made me look shorter. You look shorter. Felt shorter you that felt day. Shorter. <laughs> yeah, um, and when and they're tight fitting, so obviously I can't focus on or have fun with anything else besides just focusing on my feet and yeah. my shoes. But they match my outfit that day. Yeah, it so. matches your outfit yes. though, right? Like, yes. It matches, but god dang, this shoes tight. Yes, it does. <laughs> okay. Uh, how often do you pamper yourself? Um, pamper myself? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a very good question. Not often, that's a should, I feel like. Mm. Um, but I feel like I probably do every day. Yeah. Like the simple things. Mm -hmm. Taking a walk, listening to music. Taking a walk, listening to music. Um, when I have the time, I really have the energy at night, mm. writing or playing games. Writing, playing um, games. Favorite game? Oh, I like Stardew Valley right. or Mario Kart. Yeah, right. But I also found a new game um, on my computer, which you can play anywhere yeah. with the computer. It's called An Average Day at the Cat Cafe. That's what's that's it's what's that's pretty that's good. Yeah. You can make coffee and pancakes and whatever. whatever. That's what's that's um, good. So that's really relaxing. So uh -huh. I guess like, and also over the weekends, a lot of my relaxing time is with my family. Uh -huh. But sometimes that gets overwhelming. So I like to be my, by myself. Especially the night times are great. Yeah. I love to be by myself. But then I just get tired and don't have the time to um, relax mm. the way I want to. I just black out and yeah. sleep. I understand. Yeah. I understand. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see some here. How often do you dip your feet in warm water? Oh, like in a like a bath of like yep. a bucket of water. Uh, like like, like take, take a take a bucket of warm water and just or for example, when you go to like a pedicure shop, and oh, you have like, yeah, not often, like not at often. all. Mm. The only time I have my feet in warm water is when I'm showering. You shower, but not in like a <laughs> not in a bath. Yeah, in the bath. Okay. Um, so yeah. Okay. So what it can do for you, right? It, it can help you calm down. It yeah. can help decrease anxiety levels. And also there's something called a foot detox. Mm -hmm. You ever heard of that? Um, I'm not sure what it is. Yeah. I think I've heard of it. Yeah. So what it does is it, it basically, it takes away the toxins okay. from your body. Yeah. Your is it kind of like when you dip in your feet and then like pull up fish that eats away yeah. your dead skin? Uh, nah, <laughs> it's more like, <laughs> I think, no, that's another way of getting a pedic. No, that's actually, I, no, I don't. I'm not sure on that one. I don't know. I <laughs> yeah. see, like, have you seen the show like Victorias yeah. or something like yeah, that yeah, on Nickelodeon? Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, basically, what they do is they pour like water and then they pour like some type of salt okay. in the water. And basically, when the water turns when, when the water turns a certain color, that means the toxins are being released from your body. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Right, so do you do it? I've tried. It works. Yeah. It works. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty that's cool. cool. That's cool. That's yeah. cool. Uh, how often do you stretch? None. None? No. No. <laughs>
I used to work out earlier in the semester, uh. Uh, but since my grades have been slipping, mm. I've been, I, I call it grounding myself yeah. until I get my grades up to the way I want it. Because mm. um, when I do work out, I do warm up. I just do like, the, um, stretching my arms, yeah. stretching my legs and hamstrings and all that sort just before I run. So um, but yeah, I don't. I, now, now I don't warm up or anything. Okay. So, okay, it's all I good. hope to do so yeah. soon. Okay. Um, how often do you go barefoot? Um, I would say, like, um, often, often. And probably every day. Mm-hmm. If not, it'd probably be like. Uh, every day except for like one day okay. of mm-hmm. a, in a week. Um, so yeah. Okay. Uh, and what's the best surface to go barefoot on to you? Mm, well, I have a dog at my house, mm-hmm. and the worst place is when he slobbers all over the floor. Oh the lower, yeah, with I water. Understand. <laughs> so probably on a the best surface is probably on a dry mm-hmm. floor, any floor. Yeah. Um, without dog slobber or water. Mm-hmm. Um. Probably like carpet when it was like nice and fuzzy. Yeah, those are nice. Okay, that's just a that's just a. Uh, let's see some here. How many steps do you take per day? Oh, I have an Apple Watch, so let's see. Yeah, it's lit. There we go. Um, today it's been four thousand eight hundred thirty. Four thousand eight hundred thirty. So probably like around four thousand to maybe five thousand steps a day. Uh-huh. That's lit. Yeah. And how many hours are you usually on your feet per day? <sighs> well. Um, I don't know. I probably give it range of like, um, well, eight, eight. to like four to the evening, so like ten. Okay. Yeah. Eight a.m. to ten p.m. I'm pretty much on my feet. Yeah. Well, most of the time I'm sitting, but like in between, I'm walking. Uh huh. So I don't know. I, I don't want to do a calculation. Oh, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, how many hours do you like sit down and rest per day? Um, like actual rest and not yeah. doing homework. Yeah. Oh, probably like two hours max. Two hours, right? That's only in the evenings. That's college life, yeah. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> Sometimes I don't even get to like sit down and relax actually, or just rest, or Can't just watch like watch TV or I nothing. Just, yeah. I don't watch TV that often actually. Mm. Yeah, only time I probably watch TV is with my family, which they also don't really watch TV that much. Mm. Yeah. It was all good. Okay. So, during the resting periods, how often do you do a soul check? A soul check? Yeah. Oh. It's very rare. Very rare. Yes. Okay. Um, I love those kind of soul checks. You do? Okay. Yes. They're really, like, nice. Mm-hmm. But sometimes I really get to the point where I'm really negative mm-hmm. about myself. So, okay. um, but they're still nice because... I get to relax and actually think okay. about like what I'm doing, yeah. who I am. Mm. Um, if that answers the question. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, that's right. You got that soul check, right? Yeah. So we're going to do a different stuff for soul check. Uh, a soul check is when you check the soul of your feet for other signs of health problems. Okay. So, like diabetes and cancer, stuff like that. So, basically, the soul of your feet get other signs of health problems. I just said that. I just said it. Mm-hmm. I just said that. So, basically, the soul check is scanning your souls, right? Feeling for roughness or softness, finding a couple, finding a couple position, uh, grounding, mm-hmm. pulling for the surface, and stretching. They're not soft at all. They're, They're not soft rough. at all. I haven't gotten to the pedicures. You got know, okay. Oh, let's see some. <laughs> so they're not. Okay, they're not. Okay. Can you put one out right there too? Okay. Yeah. Put them a little more. What? Like lift them up a little more. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Boom. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay, so you said they're not, okay. Yeah, they're... <laughs> okay. That's, yeah. Okay. So you see that they felt rough, stuff yeah, like prob- that? Yeah, they're, they're not like my sisters if mm. I've touched their feet. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Which okay. I haven't in a long time, yeah. so that's probably a good thing, because they'll probably think I'm weird. <laughs> okay. Right, so I understand, I understand. Okay. Next is finding a comfort position, okay? okay. How do you feel right now sitting like that? Um, well... I'm kind of hunched over, so uh-huh. I'm kind of uncomfortable. Mm. But I'm all, I'm almost like this all the time. Yeah. Um. Besides that, I'm fine. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cross your legs for me. Cross them one way. Okay. How does that feel? Good. Okay. Cross them the other way for me. How does that feel? Kind of weird because I'd never cross it like this. Mm. Yeah. I'm a righty. You're a righty. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
right? So basically, the other way be the other way be more more comfortable, correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. All right, I want you to put your feet to the surface. Okay. okay. How does the surface feel? Smooth. Smooth. Okay, it feels feel nice on my toes. Feel nice on your toes. Okay, I want you to wiggle your toes now. Now, what, what that does is that stimulates certain things in your brain. Mm -hmm. How does that feel? It feels nice. Feels nice. Yeah. How does that make you feel? Um, makes me feel, I guess, warm in warm. my toes. I warm in the toes. Okay. But how about your mind? Does it make you feel good in the mind? Does it make you feel? Um, I guess it makes me. It makes me, I guess, a little bit calmer. A little bit calmer. Or like. Less nervous, I guess. Less nervous. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. As grounded. Okay. Last thing is stretching. Okay. Put your feet out one, one more time for me. Okay. I want you to point your toes. Like that? Mm -hmm. Yep. How does that feel when you point them? Um, not bad. Not this bad. Just kind of feeling strained. Okay. Like okay. Put one foot up. Scrunch you down. How does that feel? Um, feels weird. Like, Why does it feel weird? Uh, uncomfortable? Okay. Yeah, like straining. Straight that way. It feels like I'm doing gymnastics again. Yeah. Are, gymnastic <laughs> are you doing gymnastics? Yes. Uh, so you already know about most of them. Okay, try the other one for me. All right. Same thing for less. Same thing. Okay. Training. All right. My bad. Okay. All right. So that right there was so for mindfulness. How you feel about that? Uh, I should probably do more often. Yeah. Um, feels nice. That's good. Yeah. yeah. So overall, was it a positive interview? I think so, yes. That's it's good. very different. I like it, though. You so. like it? Okay. Yeah. Any part words? No. Nope. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you for interviewing me. All right. <laughs> all right. Hell yeah. <laughs>